are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. <laughs> this is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. 10987654321 The man Yao Talk joins us live in the studio as we put the visuals on the screens for you to see him coming. Mm. As he jo- look, man, this is like the what don't you say the Prince of Asakawa? What would you say? Oh, no, What's uh, the name? Prince Kumerica. of America. Yeah. yeah. Prince, Prince of Kumerica. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. That is the hard man. guy yeah. talk. Hard guy talk. Hard talk live. guy. I like that. Talk hard live. guy. Talk, talk live music. Talk, live, talk music. live music. And he's live in the studio, bro. Woo! What up, 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 brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a go on. What a go on. Big combo, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Charlie, welcome to our podcast. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, we haven't had you here before, have we? No, never. Nah, first time. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool yeah. vibes. Yeah. Like vibes, man. We're yeah. staying cool yeah. like yourself. Yeah. Charlie, y'all talk. How be? Everything great. You know, first off, right? Yeah. When, when you burst out onto the scene, Mm-hmm. And uh, I found out that you had just finished SS, SHS. Yeah, SHS. I was like, wow, bro, Charlie, when I finished SHS, bro, <laughs> my rap, they were not even one seven eight. <laughs> so I can imagine for you to burst out onto the scene, yeah. as, I mean, you're still young, but at su- such an earlier age, mm. I've always wanted to ask you, how prepared were you? Physically, emotionally, psychologically. And I'm asking this because I'm sure maybe you had been doing the music from like JHS, yeah. rapping, 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 rapping. And least did you expect that it was going to come at a point in time as close yeah. as SHS? I didn't expect it blow like this, you know, when I was in school. Let's say I was just doing my thing, you know, just doing my music. But I told myself after school I want to be like a big star, but it came when I was in school. So mm. I wasn't like really prepared for it, mm. you know, so wow. I had to go back. I had a lot of setbacks, you know. Yeah, I can like. imagine. Oh, let, let's go back to the, that time mm-hmm. when, when I mean the the viral the viralness or the virality or whatever yeah. you want to put around it, you know, started like popping around. Yeah. Every day waking up to notifications, calls, yeah. texts, friends, your enemies, people you know, talk to you. Yes, all <laughs> they hit you back and all those things. Yeah. What was running through your mind at all those times? Um, the first time I saw like we we were viral was I think was it, it was it was Billboard. Right, wow. that's the first thing I saw. I was like, yo, you woke up to that news, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, this is not like real. Who did you call first? <laughs> I don't even remember. I think after, let me say, after recording a song, I went straight to my friend's house, like, yo, your baby blue. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, when you listen to the song, it gives you goosebumps and everything. Like, and you baby, which mm-hmm. song was that? It was sorry. Oh, after recording it, like that day, I went to my friend's house, like, yo. Listen to the song. Yeah, yeah they can't born a born before your baby release it. So, uh-huh. bro, the feeling was different after recording. Sorry, I can't lie to you. Give us the studio vibes that day, you know, in the studio. Who was there? So, throw me back. I went, I went there with a friend at the boy's house. Okay. So, the first day we couldn't record because Jay was not feeling well. Okay. Reggie. So, I think Reggie did Jay be the... Um, Jay Bad. Jay Bad. Okay, yeah, okay. Jay wasn't feeling well. Um, I think it was me, Reggie, and O'Kenneth. Mm-hmm. So I sang the hook, and it was kind of like name we ha because of my voice, you know. Okay. So Okina did another one like also a to be so a bit heavy. Okay. Then I think Okina did his first. So we were in the studio, right? And City Boy was outside the house, like compound. I'm so I know, but we know not. Charlie, we song that. <laughs> Make I come do my verse. I was like, yo, everyone was like ready to do a Jump verse. Yeah. And everything went crazy. Mm, mm, wow. I yeah. mean, I can imagine. I like the song. That's actually mm, the first time I discovered it. you, and I feel like I wanna. Yeah. That's what I'm supposed to have you do, right? It's yeah, of course, moving. though. When the drugs, you need to go crazy. We're gonna do it. We're gonna I, do I it. don't know what to say. It sparked a certain sort of um, encouragement, you mm. know, for a lot of other artists, especially you know, um, within within the Ashanti space. Yeah. Like you know, it gave people that like like whoa, like we are taking over. We're taking over this yeah, game. It brought that energy to the young, especially the young ones doing music. Mm-hmm. Like everyone started doing freestyles. Everyone was like ready to like do something. Yeah. So that song brought a lot, you know. But who do we give credits to with the beat and all? It was Chris Rich in the UK. 
Okay. Yeah, but my producer mixed the no, it wasn't it was Sean Lifer who mixed the original. Mm -hmm. But the remix it was my producer, Candy Beat, he did his job. Mm -hmm. We sent it to them, Stormzy Stand, they, they were like, Who is that producer yeah, in Ghana let's, let's, doing? So let's like, talk about that. So what the song was was it specific to choose Stormzy that you wanted him to I, I wonder how that link I want to understand how that link So it was kinda like two songs, right? Okay. And he chose mine. Oh yeah, okay. it was two songs, me and other artists. He was like, nah, I like this vibe. And he's young too. So let me just support him. So you guys sent sent that song to him? Yeah, it was like one of one of my big men mm -hmm. did a plug and everything connection. So when it I didn't even know. I just woke up hearing the verse. I was like, yo. Wow. Who invest this? Like Whoa. And then I think um then that brought him wait, also they came to shoot a video. Yeah. Saying, what's one with with Chris Yata and yeah, him? Yeah, Kumase. Wow. It came out Bro, I'm so proud of you. Mm. Thank you very Let's much. Let's say forget everybody in the words of medical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so why, proud why, of you. Why, yeah. Why, why yeah. yeah. You why, know, why let's why let's not underestimate some something that my mom used to always tell me that she says that don't don't think if you're an adult, don't think kids <coughs> think like you. Yeah. You understand? Don't force people who are younger than you to think like you. You 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 are maybe you are old. So yeah. you know, and then and, and, and for me that's how I see that's like yo. Imagine SHS, that kind of glitz and glam was yeah. before me. The question is, I probably have to take, take, take a while to think mm -hmm, on true. what to do. And not all decisions might be the best. Not yeah. And some might be the best as well. I'll be human, you know? so... Yeah. As far as I'm human, bro. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question. I had saw an interview that you did, yeah. and you were talking about, like, mental health and your yeah. schooling, you know? Yeah. So how are you able to... You know, block out everybody else that's trying to pressure you, you know, into finishing school. Yeah. Um, at first, right, I used to like think about everything everyone says. But right now, trust mm -hmm. me, like I don't even hear nothing. Thick like, skin. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Like I don't get surprised. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why when I come on like radio, I just I just I just tell you guys my emotions was on my mind. And I dip. Bro, it's a story we'll all follow. Like, yeah. like we're talking Kim Kardashian yesterday. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you tell us today you are happy, we are all with you. If you tell us you are sad, we are all down the gutters yeah. with you. Talking yeah. about talking about Kim Kardashian, Yato, what do you call your fans? Talk Nation. Talk oh, Nation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, That's dope. I mean, since you are here, let us use you as our yes. experiment, right? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about fan love. You know, yeah, the fans and how they okay. yeah. how they chase after their their idols, their idols you know? and stuff. Yeah. So, what is what is the relationship between you and Talk Nation? Like, do you have like a physical interaction with them before we, we go to me, relationship? Okay. Oh wow. Like, a guy yeah. came in ready. I went to a show. Right? I'm on tour. I'm on like SHS tour, right? Okay. okay. So when I went, so they did my book for me, like. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. show it, show it, show You have made it. Oh, just my brother, you have made it. Okay. Oh, you have, you have made yeah. It. yeah that's they just dope. gave it to us oh, like, wow. yo, are you Back guys selling it to us like a gift? You know, because they're just doing that. You are my biggest fan. Oh, yeah. Oh. Write a number for them. Wow. Come right to your So it's like that's why I'm focusing on the like SHS side. They are like mm -hmm. the base, you know. Yeah. They are like supporting the brand and everything. Yeah. So, and I've oh, been to real? like twenty schools. Wow. Yeah. Been to wow. Twenty schools. Wow. Wow. Oh man! Wow, this, no, yeah, you, you have made it. So what? <laughs> these these are excise books that are. Yeah, I went to Volta Region. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, last week Saturday. Okay. Uh, so are they distributing it to the students there? No, or? it's the student doing their thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. An like size book after y'all talk. Okay. Mm. I think now you, perhaps a legacy. That, that's what I'm saying that. That's what I'm saying that, bro. You tell you the SHS. <laughs> Imagine you woke up one morning and somebody do take your face, do book. <laughs> 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 you know what that means? That's crazy. Yo, that, that's that, 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 in all its... Ah, the new you know, album lyrics or the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's, that's crazy. Like, yeah. you know, like, that's maybe... Because of our age difference, but you can mm. imagine for the younger folks mm -hmm. who yeah. are looking like you have no idea how much of an a, a, like a small god, small, yeah. Yeah. small god you are, you know, before them. Mm. I want to kind of like I mean, imagine that kind of what kind of pressure it puts on you on what decisions you want to take, mm. what you want to do, what you don't want to do. Does it become difficult for you when you sit back in your own, you know, solitude to think? I would say no, because anytime like when when I want to make a decision or something. I just want to be myself. I don't want to cheat nature or something, you know. Mm -hmm. I just want to do what I feel like is right. Mm. So every day I just tell them, just be yourself. Mm. As far as you're human, and you'll be on the bepe, you yeah. know. So do your thing when it's okay. When your spirit feels okay, you're yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't force it. Mm. Throughout this very, um, I don't want to say, well, it's been about two years. Yeah. Yeah. No, three years. Three years. Now, yeah. Three years, yeah. 
what has been some of your fondest memories some of the things that you can never forget be it performance or a connect or a plug or a moment or an award or something that you know you can't forget within that within these three years i'll say global citizen wow yeah how yeah, do you feel about it? Crazy. I mean, I was watching your performance. And we yeah, when, when I go on the stage, I even forgot, like, the first <laughs> like the first line of the song. I was like, yo, Man. who are these people? Like, it was it was crazy. Let me say it was crazy because everyone was singing word to word mm -hmm. after performing backstage. Every artist, like, yo, y'all, why y'all there? Keep on doing it. Like, mm. I felt love that time, you know? Mm -hmm. So was, I'll still remember that that moment. It's 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 gonna that, is, that, is that your biggest stage? Yes. Yeah, my biggest. Wow. My biggest. Wow. Yeah, it's 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 noted that you know success at a young age comes with a lot of difficulties, and because you're still having to deal with life's decisions and make key decisions that are going to be with you yeah. for a very long time, that in stardom, how what would you say your biggest challenge has been? So yeah, they do the song, the song blow now, boom, now the whole world, yeah, Toria mm. But you have real things for do, quote unquote. Yeah, you still be kiddy. Yeah. True. Expectations, you yourself, dreams, plans. What were mm. you what were the plans before the day you do I that know, song? Right. Yeah. yeah. You what know, the plan how how hard was it to just now chase this thing? What, what was the struggle? So it's like I got the right people around. My brother my brother in law is my manager. Um it's like family supporting me, right? I don't want to go out and cophobia my name be sick and stuff. So Anytime I want to make a decision, I'll be like, bro, this is what's on my mind. Especially my mom. I call her, I draw her, this is this, this is that. They'll think about it, they'll call me, you know, say, you know, say. So it's like, I don't really stress myself. I just leave it to my people around. My family, people, money, the life, they know the life and everything. So they'll give me decisions sometimes. So I don't really stress myself like that. Okay. Do you feel like you've missed out on any quote unquote normal opportunities? Normal life. Normal life. Yeah. Definitely school. Things <laughs> that if you went, that other people you're in your your age bracket were doing, yeah. f that maybe now. Of course, being a, being being a star is a big thing. It's a True. whole different universe. Mm. Not everybody's going to experience that. Yeah. But they're definitely sometimes you hear these stars that they just want to go somewhere and be quiet and mind their business. Charlie, mm. I mean, you just know? to add some, look at the buy, look at the buy watch. I want buy watch. So don't some joint. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. If you buy watch, it be cool. But. So there's some day at the bar, watch you with some girl they standing there, watch me, sir. <laughs> I'm like, chill, I'm just buy one too. <laughs> if you have something, say, say, let me yeah, go yeah, yeah. Up there right now. Yeah. And they go early. <laughs> so they actually went there early. Then the man ran and she did set up self. I said, now, who the team in the animal, me, why? So that's what he's asking of, like, you yeah, know, so is there anything you feel you missed out on? Like, I miss, I miss, like, a whole lot, you know. I used to go out to play games. I used to go out to hang out with my friends. But right now it's kind of like, bro, I'll be home working every day in the studio, you know. But sometimes I go out. But when I go, I'm in the car. Mm. Yeah. And I, I'm that type, I don't like to go to like clubs, nothing. Bro, I just like my space and that's it. Okay. Yeah. How do you deal with the stress? Because internet is talking, pundits are talking, expectations, y'all for do this, y'all for do that, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot of stress mm. for a young mind. How do you deal with it now? Because every day, every day we have a sh this show, mm. one way or the other, there's a story of somebody with depression, somebody yeah. doing something mm. mental health, somebody crashing, yeah. somebody taking drugs, somebody mm. doing something. How do you make sure that at this young age, all this pressure and expectation, now that you've started a full music career, yeah. the future is ahead? As at this three years, lots of stress, lots of issues. How are you making sure all that is, you know? Finding the right outlets. Um, I, I'll tell you, I'm not stressing anymore. Trust me, because. I've got to know like people out here have problems, you know. So anytime they talk, I'm gonna more problems in the car, yeah, they know, just to bash me, you know. So I'll just be chilling at home. <laughs> I don't nowadays I don't like me but I don't come to the social I don't come to social media like that, you know. I just be chilling in my home, playing game, working and that's it. It, it it sounds like um based on some experiences it's made yeah. you, you know, a bit more uh, calculated on what you do. What 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 made it like that for you? I think the people, you know, anytime that you do something, it's not every time that you hear like positivity and stuff. So the negative side and everything got me like how to move. I, mm. I can tell I really know what to say right now to sell myself. I really mm -hmm. know what to say not to sell myself. I really know what to do so people will talk and stuff. But that's how the game is. I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. So. 
he was going to ask a question with regards to the fan. Yeah. Based on these things that you know, uh, these lessons you you pick from, what do you make of how? Let me just be speak to Ghanaians. Mm. What do you make of how we Ghanaians handle this whole show business industry, from fan to the to the celebrities and from the celebrities to the fans? Are we doing it rightly? Is it normal? Is it okay? What, yes. what, what should we do better? What shouldn't we be doing? Um, I'll say people add their emotions to it, you know. I've got to know it's, it's business. So anything business, we are doing it. Anything to just put the name out there, we are doing it. For me, you know. And other people think, oh, y'all talk, I say, I don't know why I say, it's not good. But it's work. It's more watching the name, so... As is far that, as it's work, it's work. Is it too, is that is that too much de- demand from fan to you as an artist, like or from the people? Oh yeah, like, like everyone, people are demanding a lot from us. Like a movie say magicians, you know. Every day we should drop music every day, but that's not the way. It's business. We need to sign proper deals and stuff. You mm. know, we don't need to be dropping, 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 dropping every. Though we have to drop, but we have to know when. Mm. Do you feel like your fans limit what you actually want to do? Like, if you wanted to change your music <coughs> or, you know, venture into, like, another genre, do you feel like your fans impact your decision when it comes to that? Of course, though, especially the girls. <laughs> yeah. You know, the girls don't really, like, go with a drill side like that, right? So sometimes we drop, like, soft music mm. for them to, like, cool off, you know. <laughs> like, ring my phone, Sophia, Zoo, featuring Bad Boy Thames and mm-hmm. all that, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And has a response been the way you want it? Oh, yeah, it's great. Like, I can just pick my phone and see, like, let's say 200 girls vibing to the song. Like, mm. yeah, these are the targets, the girls. Mm. D- do you think that after a song like Sorry and uh, the trajectory that many may have projected you to have been on, yeah. um, made it more difficult and challenging for you to, to sustain, mm. you know, that, that energy or that. Um, should I say that that fool? Yeah. Uh, because we're in a social media era where people move on real quick, you know. And obviously, you knew that you had you had perhaps produced a banger, yeah. You know. But to be very honest, we always say that a, a song is a hit when it's in the studio until it comes out. True. Right. So for you as a young, even though you had a team around you, as a creator, yeah. And having to see the consumer behavior of the people you are feeding, mm. did you think that you know? There was a lot of pressure on you, you know, to to keep releasing a bank or a song that would top sorry or even do better than sorry. I don't, I don't, I don't feel any pressure, you know. I'm just doing my. I thing. mean, now you don't feel the pressure, but before nah. what you feel? At first, I used to feel it because uh-huh. I wasn't like, I didn't know much about the game and the industry. You know? Right. So, I sat down, I watched how everybody moved, how everybody talked, how everybody do their things, right? Mm. And I, I learned something. Mm. So right now it's like, if it's not music, I'll find my way to sell myself, you know? Mm. Okay. It's so not everyday music. So what other ways are you looking to sell yourself in? We're on tour. Mm-hmm. I've been on tour ever since the year started. I've been to 20 schools. Wow. Okay. I'll be going to um, Katasco next week, Saturday, Volta mm. region. Mm. Go back to Kumasi to tour again. Mm. It's like connecting with the people, you mm-hmm. know? So. Is it like, are you, are, you, are you doing this like uh, half an hour started? Are you trying to recalibrate yeah the community or are you trying to just let people know that hey i'm around mm. even after sorry i'm still doing the work i want you guys to be my grassroots following do you know do you know the fan base is kind of like you need to like meet them physically okay social media is not like really 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 the fan base okay we'll be our best around up or we tweet it or let me go but we have someone out there when you go on stage like Mm. That's the love. That's the people. I know. Mm. printing book. <laughs> that's how it goes. Like that's how I like to go on tour to connect with the people. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You think the physical ones are the ones who obviously? I mean, the yeah. people that you get to meet physically are the true fans. They are the true fans, right. you know. Those right. are the people. How's but when it, it been like, to, you know, on the tour with the, with the reactions and all? It's crazy. Trust me. I'll do a documentary on it. I'll drop it very uh-huh. soon. So then, let me ask that. Uh, I think we've asked this question before. That's what you are seeing physically to what yeah. is online. Is it the different? I did two different stories. It's different. Mm. <laughs> like when you come to the social media, people are just up, got their bundle. Like, oh, my name is Kikan Kwasasem Kaka. Sorry to say, mm-hmm. let me just bash someone. And it's good though. It's part of the game. You can't blame anyone. You know. When you said um, you, you've observed and you've learned a few things, who in the local industry would you say 
uh, the beacons of light that you're looking at saying, okay, this person moved like this, this person did that, then learning from? I've, I've learned from um, a lot of people, trust me, I have the like, the aggressive side, the calm side, the business side, the strategic side, like everything, trust me, like everyone out here in the country, I'm learning something from them. Mm. Everyone, not even only like, not only musicians, like presenters, everyone. Mm. Trust me, like everyone out there. You know, I remember mm. um, I bumped into Yao and uh, Kofi Jama at another radio station. Yeah. And um, he was at the, I think the way at the, the reception area, mm. you know, that was the very early, fresh, I think I had come for an interview and I was just saying in my head that a time will come where he wouldn't come and sit down there and wait, nah. And I was very happy that when I came and then I was serious, he was upstairs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. So, so it comes to the, you know, yeah. and uh, he has a very valid point in saying that, you know, you learn the ropes, you know, and then you, you, you climb it and you build, you build upon yourself. And I like that also the fact that he's found an audience that mm -hmm. he understands because this, this, uh, the, the high school audience would have another plus 10 years with you. Yeah. Right. You know, they can every, see your growth. It's like every year evolution. new people are coming to the school, like new mm -hmm. from ones, from two, so. Every day, every year, we are going. Which one is selling you better, the drill or um, or Afro beats? The drill. The drill. Yeah, the drill. Trust me, when they hear the um the kicks, everything. I like to like jump and go crazy. So anytime I come on stage, it's not like sometimes you need to go soft, but bro, I like to like dirty myself. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sweat and go and go and shower. Yeah, that's how I feel okay, you know. Yeah. Let's let's talk about let's let's go a little bit deeper into um, your contractual you know journey with yeah. Empire. Mm. Um, obviously, we know um, sorry after sorry, um, Empire took interest in you yeah. and came on board and everything. Mm. Let's have an honest conversation. Do you think, on second thoughts, you shouldn't have gone for that deal? Are you trying to say did I like have I regrets? Yes, I know no. you say you don't have any regrets, but yeah. now that you've come to understand the business side of music mm. looking back at what was offered yeah if it was given to you today would you mm. have taken it i would have like honest. let my lawyer handle it you know all right yeah I don't run. I don't talk too much. I'll just phone my lawyer. See the answer I give you. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I feel like give me a high five. Right <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause laughs> now, I just phone it. my lawyer. What's up, Charlie? There's a contract. Hey, mommy, let's go. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is this coming on the back of lessons that were learned? You know, um, not just with Empire, but yeah. generally with your with mm. your career. You know, mm. like you said, you were young, you were exciting, you were vibrant, and everything. And I'm sure we'll get to the part where you talked. About, you talk about how. Some of these decisions actually affected your mental health. Yeah. You know, because things were not moving the way you want them to move. True. You know, which obviously inspired your new label, um, yeah. or your your own label, Talk mm -hmm. Life, Talk, Talk Life Music, yeah. right? So let's let's share some of the over here. We like to share some of the lessons for young ones yeah. who may be looking up to you or you know trying to learn the trade. Um. So let's say the time I got I got depressed and it was a whole lot. You know, mm. like friends. Um. I'm that type that I go with loyalty. Mm. Yeah. Mm. When I say I go you, I go you. So when people switch on me, it gets to me. Mm. Yeah, so I'm that type. So it's kind of like right now, I don't do friends. Hey. Yeah, I don't do friends, trust me. I'll be home all day. I'll be home all day. Only if I want to record, I'll just phone one artist, bro. I want to come to your studio, that's it. Did someone, did so, did someone betray you? It's not betrayal, right? Mm. But people change every time, every day. That's it. Like, Obi Asa, they're like, see their channel. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I know now. So, but it's normal. I don't get surprised anymore. As I told you, like, mm. but it's so because when you more, because people do that. We are, we are humans. We need to die. Mm. Yeah. Trees grow. They cut it. They go. They cut it. Animals die. It wants to come so when when did you when did you come to this place where you know uh, I tell you I like your intellect man mm -hmm. yeah. like, you sound like a grown man yeah when, Bro, when don't go to, don't go too fast but I say when you be do be the forty nine see my work can I do can when when did you when like did you that, come man. to this place I remember Papi Kojo sat in the same seat and he, yeah. every question we asked him he said nothing really matters nothing really matters nothing because he had been through a lot but for you when was that life changing moment for you. I would say recently, mm. yeah, recently, because I told you I'm that type that I'll go with loyalty. So when it when it gets to me, it's my mental health that's going crazy, you know. Mm. Yeah, so I don't, 
I like to play my cards very well nowadays. Mm. Like, you tell me you got me, it's okay. But that if if I will call you bro, right, that means I appreciate you. Mm. If I open my mouth, like, I tell you, like, bro, thank you. Like, mm. anytime I, I say bro to you, it means you have, like, I appreciate what you have done for me. But some in car, bro, uh, trust me. <laughs> better name? I would say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's the mentality, right? Yeah. Mm. I don't want to, like, open, open, open up to, like, people who will come and say, oh, I'm real. People always say I'm real, but they don't show it. Mm. They think so, they show so it, but they just say So basically, you've been taking advantage of. You feel you feel like you've been taken advantage of as a young boy, um, pretty much you know naive to some to some things that you would have hoped that someone would have held your hand mm. to show you around. Mm. Instead, they took advantage of your naivete mm. and then you know went went their way and left you hanging. I'll say no, it's nature. Na- I, nature didn't cheat me. I didn't cheat nature. It mm. taught me. Okay, you know. So right now it's like uh, we cool. Nature, nature is out there. We are living it. Okay, artists yeah, take a lot of inspiration from their personal lives and things they experience. Has yeah. that in any way altered your lyrics, your mm. music drive? You know what you put into your music, what you say in your music. Has mm. it has it changed that in any way? Yeah, it has. You guys will hear it on my album, Young and Mature. Trust me. Wow. Yeah. What a title Young for an album. That's yeah. pain coming. You know. Mm. Oh, yeah, I, I deny a, a, a pro punk. Oh, yeah, it's like, you see, I'm a creative person, right? So mm. I need to go through certain things to talk about it. You know? And you're the same be same when you be. No, you guys need to feel the pain sometimes. And it sells too. So when, he, when the person hears our story, like, they connect. Mm. Isn't that a struggle? Yeah, music. I mean, for me, what saddens me is for us to do this to. If young, we did, yeah, for us to do this to a young, a young man, you know, yeah. because then I can imagine for those who don't even break through, yeah, what happens to them? Yeah, it's mm. crushing. Yeah, we, it's like the system has been designed mm. by whether the fans or the I don't know. And even now, it's worse. Structure, structure media. Because everybody know, has a phone, they everybody has an opinion. Yeah, yeah. 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 can just. And I tell you mm. that thing about trolling, like when you wake up, because I mean, you at a point in time, like I'm sure even if, when you put a dot on your Twitter. It's it goes. <laughs> fire. You know, I didn't even know I was training yesterday. Yeah, you were actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you said you don't want to go back to school. I, I mean, for me, I I know it's definitely out of context. Maybe mm-hmm. whilst you are here, you want to I, I, address it. I know it's your life, your choice, and everything. Yeah. But maybe you want to. It's like it further you see, everyone got like opinions. Everyone got decisions. Everyone knows the time they will do something. Right. Someone will go to the go and stay. I'll still be in school. Mm-hmm. But right now, if I find a way to get money i need to obi will school only thousand right mama sending me scar that is sending me scar but right now if i'm getting the money i'm able to like give my mom something mm. i need to work it and bring the money home before i go to school how is mommy and daddy taking this they're okay they are great smiling <laughs> yeah because you're taking care of them of course though me i can come home that's right and you're so doing the legal way you bob yeah so there's no you problems bob. yeah obi yeah. will school you know Bro, school gonna be there. So let, yeah. let, let, I was just gonna talk about finance, financing as well. Mm. And um, is th- does this business pay? This business, when you music? do it the right way, it pays. For you, I mean, is does it is it paying for you? Is it is it a good earner, mm. or would you have to consider at the point in time that you know start developing entrepreneurial yeah. uh, ideas and in investments and stuff like that? It does, it does, yeah, it does pay. What, what about the, the art itself, the sound? Mm. So uh, these days, everything is Afro, this, Afro, that, Afro, that. Yeah. And you are jamming on a, another genre totally. What are we to expect in young and matured? Are you experimenting with new sounds? And do you feel the pressure that's currently on the continent, especially on Ghana, mm. in this Afrobeat fight? Yeah. I would say we have, we have our, our, our industry already there, Joe. So it's kind of like I'm not pressuring myself, you know. I would say it's that moment, it's that time. Alphabet is that time they're doing that in worldwide. I got new songs on the album. I got, I got infusions. Like when when I listen to some of the songs, I'll be like, so this you can hear this sound, you can hear that sound. It's kind of like mixtures that when you hear, you be like, yo, like these niggas. No, like then I know I'm on no more studio or nothing. Like we we went all out. Trust me. When does this album drop? September, October. 
Wow. Yeah. yeah, I I think um, if I'm gonna be honest, your EP time EP was yeah. actually one of um, you know your your personal or your projects that I personally enjoyed because I also got to experience a different type of yard talk from what what yeah. we know and um, I'm excited to know that you have an album in the offing. Mm. Um, I hope, I just hope this that is gonna be the first studio album, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Wow. Yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, this the is a big deal. EP, yeah. so, Thank you very much. Um, I'm excited for that. I know you have a record with the South African. Um, yeah, rapper. boy. Yeah, I spoke to you about it for the benefit on of the album. I don't know if it's going to be on the album. No, it's, on, it's, a it's on Obra. It's Obra. Yeah. Yeah. It's on Obra. Now, let's talk about your trip to South Africa. I mean, this is a good time to really talk about rap and hip hop, mm. you know. And um, when we spoke to the guy, obviously he said that. He was amazed, you mm. know, by how Ghanaians were on that drill factor because they have a small drill community there. True. And it was inspiring them to also champion, you know, their hip hop community. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Like for someone leaving the shores of Ghana, going to South Africa, yeah. like a hip hop, if not a hip hop, uh, what do you call it, a stronghold, yeah. you know, and bringing that sound or bleeding that sound of of Asaka or maybe mm. a comerica vibe in in that in that in that light and you getting your flowers mm. you know even when the whole conversation about rap and hip hop came or Asaka came mm. apart from your brothers and in, in Asaka you also giving your flowers for what you did with sorry mm. how does that make you feel it makes me feel great you know let me tell you one focus right now that I'm focusing mm. let's say let's say 5 years I'm focusing on Africa okay let you take the international side Okay. I'm focusing on Africa. I'm trying to let everyone hear my sound in every country, like Africa, West Africa. Mm. Everyone should hear like that's that's my focus right now. Okay. So you are you are going to start from your neighboring countries, you know? Because I feel like that's what the big big artists out there did. Mm. Right. Mm. Cause you can see them touring everywhere, going to um Jamaica, going to Togo, everywhere, Cameroon, like everyone's singing their mm -hmm. songs, you know, but we, we just want to go straight to international, but I think that's not the way. Mm. That's how I feel. Yeah, mm. I think that's yeah. a good point, especially because... I think you discussed that this morning. Yeah, we yeah. discussed this morning. Yeah, yeah. talking about that this morning. Yeah. I feel like that's not the way. Yeah. Mm. But what, what is the wave of reception like in terms of, um, like he said, in, in this whole Afrobeats conversation that everybody's looking to toe that line um it makes other genres look like oh we're not we're not good enough mm -hmm. or we're not big enough or we don't carry enough value yeah but for you who have had opportunity to travel some of these countries mm -hmm. what is the wave of the other genres like outside our food beats in other countries especially for you being a hip-hop artist yeah. or a rapper i'll say the Afro B people are just enjoying life trust me anyway <laughs> when you go out in the club in the uk us Afro B yeah people dancing but when like a hip-hop song drops everyone will be going crazy like you see real energy mm. that's it like when hip-hop drops drill a song with crazy kicks everyone goes crazy but the afro b you see them like chill calm a little a little bit tipsy and that you mm, know mm, mm. so afro b is kind of like a mood you know to vibe to yourself but drill is like you need to go crazy in the club get your shirt off and stuff you know see so that's how it goes <laughs> <laughs> right wow. so um let's let's talk about um the single bra yeah what is battle bra i mean some of the stories you've told us mm. may give us an understanding but yeah when did you record it what went into it and really what are you looking to achieve with it i recorded a bra like three months ago mm. i was just home i got the beat from a russian producer russian Castle. producer yeah. You have a Russian Tesla. producer? Yeah, he produced a bra. Where did you find him? On okay. Instagram. Okay. Yeah. You reached out to him or he reached out to you? I did. Oh, Trust nice. me. Sweet. I did, me, I did chat there with you. <laughs> yeah. Let's go now. As far as I will get something from him, um, I will chat to you. What? Okay, first of all, what made you reach out to a Russian producer? What did you see? What did you hear? Um, I think I saw his mail. Okay. So he sent a mail to you? Yeah, okay. to me. I saw it then... I looked at his handle. Mm. I went straight to Instagram. I texted him. I was like, bro, this is my number. Send me every beat, every drill beat that you got. Okay, so first of all, he sent you a mail. Yeah. What was the content of the mail, if you, if you, if you don't mind sharing? Was it because he, saw, he, had, he, had, he had your music somewhere? Mm. Was it because someone recommended you to him? Yeah. You know, how did he find you and what was he trying to get your attention to? Um, he, he just sent me a pack of beats. 
Okay. Yeah, like every day, every time, different producers send, send you beats. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fine. From right, different very countries. Well. Very well. Okay. Mm. So when I saw it, I just listened to one beat on the mail. I went to Instagram, I texted him, I gave him my number. Send me every bit that you got. Because I don't want to stress myself opening wave files and stuff. Just yeah. send me the MP3s, let me listen. So the first beat that I listened was Obra, Obra's instrumental. I was like, yo, this is hard. Mm. I like to do melodic drill. Right. I don't like to be um, going all hard, rough, mm, you know. Mm, yeah. Mm, so mm. when I heard it, I started writing. I didn't even listen to other, the other beats. Trust me. Mm. Yeah. So that's how I brought him about. Yeah. And that time I was, I was, I was in that mood. Like I was, as I said, I was hearing people saying a whole lot, and I was just thinking about life. You know, mm. people saying go back to school, blah blah blah. I was like, yo, let me just find a way to talk to you guys, mm. cause I can't, I can't come to your house, be like, bro, blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> Explaining yourself. Da, 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 da. To yeah. So to that's go. the only way to write my songs, you know, to let you guys know what's so what, like, what that, was on that, my mind. That bit about the school. Let me just quickly go back to it. Um. Mm. Was there, were there any things happening in uh, SHS, you mm. know, when, when you blew out, that mm. made you want to think about um, not combining right now, not combining s too much school and, you know, and the music? Bro, I was stressing, trust me. Wow. My first time in the UK, I was in school. I, when I came back, I signed a big bond, like, with my headmaster. <laughs> I'm shouting my name in the siren, y'all talk, come to my office. Like, wow. Yeah. I, bro, I was like, I was stressed. <laughs> I was like, bro. bro like, what was, what was happening? Over. That missing assignment, class? I feel like he wanted me to finish the school, complete the school. And I did one bad thing, right? After blowing, I went straight to be a day student. And oh. no one knew. So he got to hear my name. He heard my name. So, Let me meet this boy. So like, he got my documents. And I came, when he called me, I came straight from home. I wasn't even in school. So I can't. Were scared when he, when he asked to see you? Oh, nah. Okay. <laughs> no, I was, when he was shouting your name through the siren, you know, through the megaphone. You were nah, not I was school. just chilling, bro. Trust me. Because let me cool you, pal. I mean, you'll be out here. And stop on the car in my head. And anytime they punish me, like my boys do, they do it for me. Yeah, like weeding, sweeping. My boy, no, be quiet. I know, we're gang leader. Oh, nah, I was like, I was a calm one. Like, okay. let me know more. When it's break, we go out to eat. I don't do myself like a superstar. Right. I'll be going crazy on the compound, screaming, teachers beating me and stuff. Hey. Yeah, I was, I was just living a normal life, trust me. And the, the one thing that I just wanted to do, I am in Pesubi because we're blown to what's the sound or something. Yeah. So I was just. No, that, but that battle is another yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. So I was just being myself, show with them. They will complete their school. I was like, let me start the work now. So why was your headmaster angry? Why was he trying to get your attention through America? I think he thought he thought I w I wouldn't be able to like complete the school. What did he see? Were you playing truancy? At a point in time. Like, okay, yeah. so, so it was it was it was a genuine concern. Not like that. It was the business. It was the, I was like going to shows, going to shows like Saturday, Sunday. I'll come back to school. Sometimes I don't come back. I just like, bro, I'm tired. I'll come back. Then I'll come back later. Mm. Maybe I saw a friend. I'll go there. So, you're, you're, okay, there were two things in front of you. Now, this is very interesting. I want to find out. Mm. There were two things in front of you, your notes yeah. and your, your lyrics. Mm. Mm. And how, how was that working for you? You know, Usain Kakra, Ocho, Lewis Kakra, you know, and exam room, like, what dream, which is, what, what is running through your mind? Is it the next, the next show coming up, you know, to play somewhere? Uvisa no Moyama or no Anase. Trust me, when I was in the exam room, right? Anasak DM no, Anase, Storms your fell, Anase, Chale. I was just going all out for the paper, you know. I'm that type when I'm in the exam room, bro, trust me. I'm just doing anything to pass, trust me. Like You shut, you shut music behind you. Yeah, I'm doing anything to pass. And trust me, the people that I got when I was writing exams were like science students, like. Everyone in there. I was just a journalist student. Okay, you, yeah, journalist. Okay. Yeah. So, which combination journalist? What you think? I did um, business. Okay. Geography. No, sorry, I didn't do business. Sorry. Uh, I did government. Yeah. Geography. Um, CRS and um, economics. Those were Christian wow. religious studies. Yeah. These are mighty <laughs> courses. Yeah. Like, if, like if I did a book <laughs> like, back then, really study. Well, yeah. yeah. It was becoming a stretch for you, right? I can imagine. Well, no, I was just, trust me, I would just be chilling, doing my thing. I will be in the class, listening. When it comes to exams, I'll do anything to pass, you know. 
I was that time. Yes. I'll be at the back hiding, not to answer questions and stuff. Your mates were they helpful or they were uh, like aha? Uh-huh. So they someone could push your number. Trust me, I was with the craziest people in the class. You know, we ain't all back on the trail. So when it, like, and we got one friend right. He was like, you know, what being part Drake. Mm-hmm. So anytime on the net, yo, I hold him down. Yeah, <laughs> that one real G, like, bro, he funny, you. Let me know this. Yeah. And we go other people that were writing notes for us and stuff, right? Mm. To just we sort them and stuff. So school was great. I'm oh, no, yeah. so, yeah. so how would you <laughs> how would you speak to this for anybody else? Because number of boys I yesterday, for example, number on TikTok now. I think one was some school. I almost a green uh, top. Yeah, I want to give shout to the boy. Yeah. Bars now boys in the air, you know. Mm. Charlie crazy. It's like they on break and then yeah. they were just spitting yeah, bars. We we know like battle and all that. Mm. What would you say to people like that now? Because I mean, you come you came from that uh, certain yeah. that kind of community. I'm on train in year. Should they finish it or yo push it because it blew up? Yeah, <laughs> I think if they can handle the stress, they should do it. Cause it's bruh. the stress is crazy. The one thing like I had in school that was always, like okay, sorry was um every teacher in the school was like yo, obi up him awesome because I was I was a calm type. No no one like even heard of me in the school until like my son came out. Oh wow! So every teacher out there was searching for me. Who's that boy? Cause I wasn't doing any stubbornness. I was th- I was doing stubbornness, but on Chimeda, Loki. Mm, Loki yeah. yeah, I'll be going home every time. Yeah, Chimeda and stuff. <laughs> doing a whole lot. I was that type. Like, I'm in pity this on Chimeda. All right. So after the song came out, they were like, "Who is this guy? Who is this guy?" So it helped me though. Mm. It really helped me. Helped and I me. think you, it, it, it's clear that you'd want to put the school on hold now to do yeah. some music. Yeah, for now. School is waiting, but I'll go back. Trust me. So it's not about you not wanting to go to school. It's mm. just that you, you. And I think I agree. You, you do. Mm-hmm. You, you do not want to combine. You have tasted both sides of the yeah. coin, where you're combining the two of them, and mm. it was stressing you out. It was stressing me I mean, out. So, so school, for I now, he was in school, right? Yeah, yeah he was in school. He actually he was. Completed. So, so he's now, like, you actually want to comp- You want to finish the business side of things. Yeah. And then take the time. I to really want to, to get a bag, like. Right. To get a bag to just Cash. go back. Yeah, to yes. go back to school. You yeah. Know? Get the bag to go yeah. back well, to I school. I think Stoneboy recently completed. Gimpa. Yeah. It was like so, Gimpa. also just finished. Yeah, um, so Gimpa why should I well. rush myself? No, I feel you. We got the I big, big ones doing that thing and went back to school. So I don't need to, like, the right myself. time. Yeah. Do, yeah. You know, do you already know what you'd be going back to school for? I mean, you've done you've done economics, CRS, mm. blah blah blah. That's the base. Mm. But should you go back to school? Let's say it's three years, it's five years, it's ten yeah. years from now. Do you have a passion that you would like to go and pursue? Yeah, I do, but it's not my mind right now. I think I need to resist it, like mm. rethink about it. it. I I wanted to be like, was it a psychologist? <laughs> but one thing my friends was hey, we'll be to my like <laughs> yeah. No, but if you weren't doing music, really, exactly. what, what were you going to be doing? A footballer or soldier? Oh, no, but, oh. Yeah. Oh, what, what's that? Yeah, everybody they play ball. Oh no, play no, ball. Play, like, play ball. Play. Oh, no, no, I think I, I see some videos. So yeah, sure. boys wild. Yeah, like <laughs> I see under, some videos. Under, under twelve hours, I used play to play ball. like two, and under fifteen hours, like six. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. But later on, my mommy came, or the and Papa got me so a pack. And so, so uh, yeah, cause the hood, no be I stubborn. Right. Police coming there to arrest boys and stuff. So my mom was, was afraid. Worried. She was scared. Yeah. So I understood her. And you said you wanted to be a soldier. Yeah. I think when I was in primary, I was not me an inspector in cadet. So I think <laughs> a conversation make a So yeah. when I saw the train, I was like, bro, bro, do you know you actually have like. The military, 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 yeah, military, yeah, yeah. Do you know that? Like, even yeah. with your mustache. And and, uh, they watch the two of you. You see, 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 I mean, it's, it's only right. Wow. Let, 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 okay. let, let's go to, I mean, the crossover, honest Stormzy, you know, mm. like, and, and all Commander that. Um, talk. What is the, <laughs> what is the relationship <laughs> now? Um, are yeah. you riding on the relationship to do any more things? Oh, yeah, of course. I would say the relationship is okay. Mm. Anytime we go to the UK, we find a way to connect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The first time I went there, I went to his birthday party. Mm-hmm. Saw big, big stars, age, the big, big ones. We did a connection. Yeah. You know, I'm a going brand, bro. Yeah. I've got like, a lot of people to meet. Mm-hmm. So we're working still. 
trust me like, like i wish i could rewind my years back to like Charlie yeah. and then live to live to some me, of your lives so. i wish i could go back to shs and i miss my boys you know mm. oh yeah man. i miss them trust but me. i mean now that you are uh, y'all talk um mm. how are you reconnecting with them are, are they reaching out yeah. are you have you also tried to reach out and oh yeah up? i do okay they do like in front of them i'm tossing bro like, <laughs> we do our silly shit and we co- we go back home. Mm. I don't like to like stress my people, flex my people. Mm. No, mm. I'm not mm. that type. With one of your songs on time, you you talked about um, a relationship you had that yeah. obviously, you know, that was, in the, was I think it was the same video. Um, Black Sheriff was in there mm. and fake X, uh, fake X, yeah, dancing with uh, or the chill. <laughs> oh no, nah, it was like he was in the video. No, I'm yeah. saying I'm saying again the chair one. Oh, no, nah, I did share one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've talked about pressure from school, mm. pressure from work and everything. But as a young man growing up, what, is, what was your relationship like? Or like your love life like? And did you find someone who was, you know, being with you, taking a thing? It was thing, up to this morning. No, no cut this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> this morning. Um, I'll say that experience was in JHS. JHS? Yeah. Wow. You okay. see that school love, it'd be pure love. Right. No black in there, like. White, white, white. El Paradiso. Yeah. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> that is just, the JHS love was like pure love. But mm. after completing, I didn't see her again. Later on, I saw her, I saw her with the different girls. Like, hey, so. And the girl, like, she the be. Right. You see girls, they go fast. Right. Than boys, you know. Right. So anytime you go see someone, like your classmates, huge, hey, Charlie. But now things blow. You know how I am. Oh, nah. oh, she know how like you. She know try, you know, get your get your attention. Oh, we yeah. like we be friends now. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, but. And I walk as I was speaking. Yeah, we're friends. Oh no, no it's not like that. Yes, I'm speaking. Forget. Yeah, yeah. If I if I was speaking, I could show. Oh no, we good. Trust me. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, that's good. Man, Charlie, like we are super proud of you. Regardless, everything, the ups and downs, the highs and lows. You know, we should take responsibility for you know putting depression on you at any point in time it's mm. us yeah, nobody yeah. else did that to you it's mm. us um raising a bar so high and expecting you to jump when we ourselves haven't, haven't created the platform for you to be able to stand up upon it Thanks. and jump you know and um through whatever it took you through yeah for real i mean like I, all we can say on behalf of everyone is like, like yo you're sorry you know don't and worry though yeah best sorry if you get it <laughs> you know yeah i feel like it has like changed me exactly Mm-hmm. I'm a man now, trust me. Yeah. I'm, I'm told I'm like told that. you are looking to go into pig farming. Yeah, pig farming. Why pig farming? Just trying to find a way to make money, that's mm-hmm. it, you know. Did you, did you like have you done some maybe research or open Oh yeah, like I have that? people out there right like connecting things for me, you know. Yeah. So we are going to say talk talk farms or something. <laughs> for that one, me and dream here, but I don't know. Tell you, Jerry will get in touch. You don't want to talk about that. No, I'm not excited. You see, you see, I like to like venture into different like. Yeah. Businesses. No, it's, it's not actually exciting like, because mm. then it, it will encourage the youth to go into agriculture. Yeah. You know, because we 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 are not seeing that that kind of um, drive, that kind of ambassadorial you know drive is missing. Mm. You know there be. We, we are slowly losing grip of, you know, interest in agriculture. Like, when we went for the dry harvest thing, you will clearly tell that, you know, the community is very small, like, gradually. And I mean, Ghana has... Everybody's has into real estate. Yeah. Real estate, yeah. you yeah. know. But yeah. I'm told agriculture I just, has... Yeah. You know, I just, some, like, in the next thing, I just want to supply the whole Ghana with pugs, you know. Come on. I don't chew pug, though, but I just... <laughs> Okay, yeah, man, you know what? We, we got you. We got you for you. No problem. We there with you, bro. Yo, you. y'all talk. It's been amazing. It's been an amazing moment with you here. Thank you Trust very me. Much. I know we are so excited for you. So we're looking forward to September, October to drop yeah. that young and young mature. And mature. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a dope story to listen to. Get ready. And and visuals and everything coming out. Mm. So congrats to you, and uh, you we're here much. for you all day.